it's your boy T Money, and we back with another live reaction. And today we reacted to NBA players who got beef with other NBA players and how it started and when them talking trash and all that good shit, you know what I'm saying? You would, you would hope, you know what I'm saying, NBA, it would be all about the sport, but you know what I'm saying? When people get in these major bags, they got big shit to talk about. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> you keep joining super teams to win the NBA title. How about, how about we work out together sometime so I can teach you how to carry your own team? Oh! Damn. Yeah, he's been getting heated. And oh, fucking bum. Ross is in Baisley's face. Put somebody else on. He's trash. CP can't guard nobody, man. Everybody in the NBA know that. I don't care who you are. King, queen, princess. I know what we're going to fight. Well, I'm the king. My wife is the queen and my daughter is the princess. So we got all three yeah. times. These are the NBA players who hate each other. And two players yeah, have play. beef These over one of the NBA most famous that hate each other, talk trash. And this first beef right here, man, is a crazy beef because you know it went, it went, it went deeper than the game. And when it goes deeper than the game, you tell you got your, got your. Well, let's just let them talk about it. Girls on the planet. Ben Simmons used to be a different man. I mean, he actually played basketball and was actually good. So he wasn't only rewarded with millions of dollars and millions of followers. He attracted a baddie, Kendall Jenner. These two started going everywhere together. So of course their relationship went viral. And at first, everything seemed all good. But one night changed everything. See, Ben hit up one of his NBA friends, Devin Booker and they decided to go on a double date to one of the most popular restaurants in Hollywood. But this was the night Ben realized he just introduced his girl to his friend and she got stolen because Book knows a thing or two about good D. And not his name is Devin Booker for God's sakes. You know he got the Booker. You brought her around so he could book her. <laughs> you was a clown for that one. <laughs> not even a week later, Simmons, Kendall told up. the world she dropped Ben faster than he could hit a jumper. What's happening with you and Devin Booker? Um, he's my boyfriend. Now Damn. these two started being seen on date nights and at sporting events. Kendall even started showing up to books games. I watch every game all my friends and family know that I like sit with my phone where, wherever I am. So with him knowing that Kendall would be watching when the Suns and 76ers faced off for the first time since the double day, Book showed both Ben and Kendall who daddy was. Damn, with the pull up three. Right he dropped 36 face, points Damn, look on back dude's at head just after stealing his girl. The situation Damn. had everybody on Twitter talking about it. So it's safe to say, since everybody was clowning Ben, he ain't ever hopping on a Kardashian. Yo, how you gonna get your, your joint took in and got 36 dropped on your forehead, dog? You know what I'm saying? That's the ultimate disrespect. That was probably the most disrespectful one right there. I'm sorry. With one of the NBA's best players. Because once he started being asked about his rap career, he took things to the extreme. But who yeah. is the best MC in the NBA? Man, me. So if Damian Lillard would accept but, that I mean, battle. Come on, dog. If you're a rapper, you ain't supposed to be like, say nobody's better than you. I, I'm sorry. That's part of the rap game. I don't care if you, if you is Soldier Boy, you still post the act or you don't know say think of yourself as the best rapper out there i don't care who the fuck you is so How i would mean you do it here on first take man we whatever whatever man i'm, I'm wow. with whatever dude really said all of that whatever, whatever, to though, the you know, How you gonna so. be on live tv treating damian lillard i mean dame, dame dollar dollars. like he's only worth a penny just take a look at dame on youtube you can see he's literally got songs with millions of views. Damn. So ain't no way he was about to let a youngin come for his neck with that type of disrespect. And right after Dame heard the news, he responded to Marvin saying, Shoot, it only took Marvin a few hours. He dropped a song called No Debate with him and Dame in the cover art. That's what but they see, said they the had The lyrics that. of the song had nothing to even do with the beef. So it seemed like Marvin already had the song he done was before ready his for interview. It. He would, only look, claimed he was to be the NBA's best rapper along with calling out Dame as a publicity stunt to promote his music. But Dame wasn't having it. And within just a few hours, he let Marvin know he might be a king of sack, but his raps are whack, and dropped a diss track. Can't let that, we can't let that right. So, you know, they a little, you know what I'm saying? We got a little rap beef over here. Rip Paulo on him. Not only did he fake him out, he turned a scrim into a dunk contest. Oh. DeJounte even called dude a little ass boy and threw the ball at him like he was Yo, nothing. So after him. that, 
they kept going at it. Now, with Yo. all that going down, of course we the beef didn't stay in the gym. We might have had bit. The heated matchup ended up all you over say? ESPN. We might have had but like eventually, that. things got even crazier on the ground. Like that. Paulo called DeJounte like out for you unfollowing tripping. him and clowned him for not guarding up and needing to send double teams. Then, DeJounte replied, talking about how Paulo tried flexing his number one pick status on him and that he's rocked with Paulo ever since they were kids growing up in Seattle. He even made one more disrespectful post, and in the caption, he admitted it was disrespectful. But Paulo put an end to the online beef, claiming DeJounte was just acting for the narrative. So when the boys matched up for the first time on an NBA court, fans anticipated who'd pull the trigger first. But both guys let their game do the talking. DeJounte dropped 20, mm. Paulo dropped 20, and it turned out, Drop after the now. game, Paulo let us know the real reason DeJounte even What's started the talking reason? I gotta fresh. know what the real reason At that pickup game, Paulo told him, Young boy is better than young thug? And apparently he just snapped. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Yo, they'll tell me y'all had y'all was out there fighting to find out who was King Slime out there. You could have took that shit disrespected. Look at my man. He threw the ball. Look how he threw the ball at him. He said, nah, dog. You know what I'm saying? NBA young boy is King Slime out here, bruh. That's crazy, yo. They were legit. NBA young boy got these uh, NBA players acting crazy, you know what I'm saying, out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, like damn, bruh. You went with me shooting in the gym? <laughs> Dude really got upset over that. The race wasn't just players trying to be great, right it was fueled by hate. Even though Harden was averaging legendary numbers, mm. the player he was competing with, Giannis, tried to guarantee himself the award, cause in front of millions, he made it seem like Harden was ass. I'm between Kim by Trey Young. Wait, you don't, but want, I gotta the, go. you don't want the dribbler? <laughs> <laughs> I want somebody that's gonna pass the ball. That's what I want. Yeah. Hold on. Someone who would pass the ball? Wasn't he averaging more assists per game than who Giannis picked? Even Harden was confused. Giannis and Takupo makes a joke on the air about, I want to take someone who can pass. I'm the taking Kemba Walker instead of James Harden. Pass, I was more assist than him, I think. So I don't, see, I, don't, I don't see what the joke is. I just know none of them can mess with me. So yeah, just because Giannis was capping, I the already Greek, knew there'd be some the action. The Greek freak and the bitter one, they went at each other's head, bro. Being on what separate the teams in the All-Star game, the situation got even more heated. Because Giannis caught Harden with an elbow to the jaw. Then after, Giannis clowned Harden even more. First we were just trying to, you know, find whoever James Harden was guarding. That's who we thought we were going to have the opportunity to score on. Damn, Giannis, how are you going to clown Harden's D like that? Oh wait, so did we. Wait, wrong D. Things between these two were escalating, and fans expected the beef to continue. So as the season went on, both players kept going off, and Harden decided to throw shade one more time. You know, but I wish I could just run, run, and with seven feet and run and just dunk. Like, that takes no skill at all. <laughs> but even though Damn. Harden said all of that, Giannis took his game to a whole new level. And not only did Giannis I end up lie, winning it was the one, uh, one All-Star game, that's all he did. When he went to MVP, I think it was like two years ago, yo. All he did was just run down the court and dunk. That shit was whack. I ain't gonna MVP lie, race. He ended this. And Patrick Beverly was born from a life-changing moment. Here, this play. In Westbrook. Hobbling away. Beverly, the Beverly, steal. Dirty Beverly like that. just going for that steal changed Westbrook's life forever. Because not only did it force Westbrook out of the game and out of the playoffs, Beverly tore Westbrook's meniscus so badly, it required three surreries to repair. This was the type of injury that takes That's months crazy. to heal. So the entire like time that Westbrook rehabbed, all he could think I about was the next time he saw Beverly, it was on sight. And Beverly felt no need to show any sympathy, but that was just the oh, beginning the of the chaos. Their beef so never went up. away. Even when Beverly got traded, he still had a target on his back when Big Daddy Westbrook came to town. And that's when Westbrook slapped him with a brand new taunt. Oh, rock the baby. Just, Just look like, at him. Dude's out here rocking the baby at a grown ass <laughs> man. But Beverly ass. took that person. And later in the game, butt. he tried to ruin Westbrook's life again. This one, he actually did that on purpose. All right, Look. there's no way Beverly's doing that on accident. Oh, come Dude's on, really out here trying to That's ruin dirty. careers Patrick by Beverly dolphin diving dirty. like That's a sweaty it, cod kid. Of course this made the two get into a debate, but after the game, Westbrook said something that made nobody look at Beverly the same. Pat Bev trick y'all, man, like he played defense. He don't guard nobody, man, just running around for nothing. Now, the way Westbrook talked about Beverly didn't seem like much. 
But clowning another man's D can really ruin a reputation. And from that interview on, no players looked at Beverly as somebody who was more than a wow, man. And he Beverly even admitted right that what though? Westbrook said began ruining his career. You, you, you know, people looked at me differently. People around the NBA, coaches, players. After that, people were just taking the ball, just going at me. I'm like, what the f Like, all because of what one person said. Now, at this point, Beverly had to do something to save his reputation. And well, what better way than using Westbrook's downfall to his advantage? Because once Westbrook got traded to the Lakers, nobody was yeah, more ready no, to catch to Westbrook play, slipping was, was so than Beverly. Tracks. He watched Westbrook have the worst season of his Yo, career. Could, and not only did Beverly turn Westbrook's own words against him, the next time they played each other, Beverly trolled Westbrook harder than ever. When Beverly scored a layup, he actually walked down court doing Westbrook's rock -a baby taunt at him while staring him in the eyes. Later that quarter, Beverly got a steal on Westbrook and walked down court saying, he's trash. Then in the he fourth quarter, when Westbrook pulled out one of his signature moves, an airball, air Beverly and his teammates let the ref know just how off that shot was. Got a timeout. Damn. So just when you think things can't make the hate for each other. I ain't gonna lie, he was some trash for the, for the Lakers, bro. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with Westbrook too. But he was some trash for the Lakers, y'all. Each other any worse. The Lakers felt the right move was signing Beverly to make them teammates. So I'm excited to see how the hate for each other plays out. I mean, the only thing crazier than that is thinking you're better than the greatest player in the world. Because John Morant's been humiliating the entire NBA. But what he's doing against today's players got to his head a little too much. Because now that he's having his best season ever, out of nowhere, he called out the GOAT. But the if you could have talked to Michael Jordan, MJ. what would you have said? I would like to no play against him. This time you're not saying, I would have cooked him. I would have cooked him too. Hold up. Damn. You cook Jordan? <laughs> Maybe you cook for Jordan, but, but you aren't cooking Jordan. <laughs> Once Josh hey, said that about Black Jesus, yeah. of course it went viral and every sports show was talking about it. But uh, nobody agreed with Ja. Sports analysts didn't. There you go, man. We ain't gonna leave it right there, man. Ja talking crazy about MJ himself, you know what I'm saying? Think he gonna cook Jordan? Nah, I don't know about that. But, um, you know what I'm saying? We'll leave it there. You leave it in the comments if you think that, um... You know, saying what was the what you think out of all these beef NBA beefs were the best beefs. Um, also, let me know if you would think if you think Ja would cook. You know, saying Jordan if they actually had an opportunity to play both of them in their primes. But uh, with that being said, man, as you already know, it's your boy T Money makes bucks. Uh, follow me on all social socials. Like subscribe. You know, what I'm saying hit notifications to be notified on all. My uh, video is going to drop and we out one.